Hey everyone, this is Mary Ellen from Planning with Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another video for beginners. This is part of my Planner 101 series that I'm going to be putting out a video for every day this week. So this video is going to be about planner tools and the things you need to get started planning. Now, obviously you need a planner. <laughs> That's number one. Um, also, I'm not going over stickers or washi tape or sticky notes, that kind of thing, like accessories for your planner. These are actually tools that you're going to use while you are planning. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need is a good pair of scissors. So these are my favorite. They're called Cutter Bee Scissors. They're from EK Success and they're precision cut stick scissors. So they're little and they're sharp and they have a really pointy tip so you can get into the tiny little spaces. I use these to trim stickers. I use these to cut washi tape. I'll use them to cut label paper to go uh, to cover parts of my planner. It just depends, but these are very good sticker, uh, st the scissors and I would recommend them to anyone. Now, all of these products that I am recommending today will be linked in the description below. I do get a very, very small percentage of the sale if you do buy through me. So I would appreciate it if you would click those links if you do plan to purchase anything, just because every little bit helps. Okay, so that's the first thing. You definitely need scissors. Of course, you're going to need some pens. That's super important. Um, my favorite pens are the Pentel Energy Energel pens. I typically use them in a 0.5 and a 0.7, and they are just, they're gel pens, they're very smooth, they write really well. I do have a video on pens, so I'm not going to go over this really in detail right now, but I will link the video in the description below. I did do one uh, a couple months ago about my favorite pens. so. I will put that in there. The other pen that I really love is the Tombow um, Dual ABT brush pen. You have one side is the brush, which I don't really use, and the other side is just a finer tip point, and that's the one that I use a lot for like the big black writing in my planner. You will also probably want, is you need the black pens, that's a given, but you, you probably will want some colored pens and um, I have a whole bunch of different kinds. I love these tool pens, they're really good. Um, and my other favorites are the, the Papermate Ink Joy. I do have the Flare, a lot of people love these. Not really my favorite, I'll use them once in a while for coloring things in, but I like these better. And I also have these Stadler uh, fine liner pens. These are good too, but like I said, the Tool and the Ink Joy are my favorites. I don't use a lot of colored pens in my planner, but it is good to have for coloring things in or if I just want a change, you know, and put some colored pen in there. Okay. You will also need a craft knife of some kind. This is my favorite. I know probably most people use X-Acto. However, I did use X-Acto in the beginning and I changed to this one and I like this one so much better. Reason being, it, it has a grippy section here. It's easier to hold. Also, the cover is better. It goes on well. I don't know if any of you have had a problem with your X-Acto knife covers not going on right. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, but and, and I've used the same blade for like, I don't know, six months now and it's still sharp. So I use, the way I use the exact, or the Excel knife is I, I mostly use it for cutting um, washi tape. So I'll lay down the washi and I'll just cut the edge and pull it up and pull off the other edge and it, it gives you like a clean line. I also will use this sometimes for trimming stickers on the lines in my planner because if I use my scissors, sometimes I just can't get it exact and I'm kind of a perfectionist that way. So this is kind of, in my opinion, a necessity. Not everybody uses these, but I think it's a good idea to get one of these. All right, you're also gonna need some kind of glue. You can use a regular old, you know, um, regular old glue stick, but I like to use a couple of different kinds of adhesive. So the first one is this two-way glue pen from Zig. It, there's different, I think there's different ones. This one's more of a like chisel tip. 
I think they have more finer point ones, which might be better. But I use this to just stick down really detailed things in my planner. Like if there's a sticky note, I'll put it on the back of a sticky note on the bottom so that that stays down. I use this for a variety of different things, but I do use this a lot. The second thing is, the second adhesive I recommend is a Tombow Mono uh, Adhesive. And this one is a permanent, I'm not sure I recommend this one. I will link the, both the permanent and the temporary in the description box below. I kind of wish I got the temporary because this one's a little bit, well, it's permanent. So as soon as you put it down, you can't, you can't pull paper up again. So if you make a mistake and, and you'll see in one of my last videos I did. So I think temporary would probably be better, but this one is good for like, if you are frank and planning and you have two pages that you want to stick together, you just run it along the page and along the edge and then you just stick them together. It works very, very well. So I would recommend this. The next thing you're going to need is, at least I think so, is a paper trimmer. So this one is an old Fiskars trimmer and this is from the 1990s, you guys. This is really old. I had this back in my scrapbooking days, but I do love this and this still is functional and I just get the blades replaced every once in a while. But it looks totally different now, but I'll link the new one in the description below. So I'll use this to trim scrapbook paper to put it into my planner or I'll trim label paper to cover things up in my planner. There's a lot of different uses for this, but I couldn't live without this baby. Another thing I would recommend, and not everybody uses this, but um, is this Avery label paper. So if, you're, if you have watched any of my videos, you will know that I use this religiously. Um, it is for covering up things on the planner page that I don't necessarily want, like designs, there might be flowers or something on the regular planner that I'm like, it doesn't really match my spread. So I want to cover it up and put something else on top of it. So I use that a lot. And what I do is just cut it, you know, oh, what's on there? There's a little sticker on there. Uh, I just cut, cut it out to fit whatever it is I wanna cover up and I just place it down and then I can put stickers on top of it or right on top of it. So I do use this a lot. This is just the full sheet labels just for shipping, um, but it's really useful to me. And this will last a very long time. I've had this one a while now and I still have a whole lot of sheets left in there. Another thing I would recommend for sure is the Happy Planner Punch. So this one is a big Happy Planner Punch. I would recommend getting this one if you ha are using a big Anna Classic because the you can see, so if you have a big, you can line it up on the two, line your paper up here and here. If you have a classic, you line it up here and here. So if you do purchase the big punch, you don't need to purchase a, a classic punch as well, which is very useful. I use this for covering, let's see, I'll show you what I mean. So let me get my old 2018 planner, which I don't need anymore, but, um, so let me find a spread that I'm talking about here. I'll try to find a good example for you. So you see how sometimes in certain planners they'll have colors in the middle or patterns in the middle. Okay, this is a good one. So what I do is I take label paper. If, if there's a pattern or a color I don't want in the middle that doesn't match my spread, I'll tape take labels paper strip and I'll cover it and then I'll punch it with the happy planner punch and that way it can go right in. The other thing you can use the happy planner punch for is if you want to put extra like other papers in your planner like handouts or paper like our bills or paper from somewhere else you just punch it and you can put it in that that is what makes the happy planner super customizable which I love. So I would recommend that everybody gets one of those punches. Okay, the next thing I recommend for sure is the Tombow Mono Correction Tape. I use this in every single spread to wipe things out. So not just for when I make a mistake, although that's helpful, but also for when I want to cover up like the lines in the planner, if they're not the color that I want that week for the spread, 
or if I want to put a sticker on top of a line, I'll call, I'll cover the line so that the line won't show through the sticker if it's a translucent sticker. This has a lot of uses, so I use this all the time. I would definitely recommend this. I have a pack of like 12 of these and it's gonna last me a really long time, um, but this is the best one that I've found. So I use this all the time. Let's see, anything else? Um, you'll need a good eraser because at least if you do any pencil in your planner, which I do if I doodle or if I put in like decorative lettering, sometimes I'll use pencil first. And this eraser is the Pentel High Polymer Eraser, which is um, one of the best I have found. It doesn't leave a lot of residue when you, like a lot of extra little pieces of the eraser don't come off, uh, which I have a Prismacolor eraser and that kind of does that, but this one's much better. So this is the one I would recommend. And I'll link that down below as well. The last thing I'll recommend is these uh, checklist sticker or stencils from the Happy Planner. They're called Line It Up and Check It Off. And these are super useful. I will show you how it looks in my planner. Um, you know, the Happy Planner generally, not all the Happy Planners, but most of the time the blocks are just plain white and not lined. So and unless you're using a sticker for your to-do lists, I, which I do, so I vary it. I use stickers or I'll use these. And let me show you an example. Okay, so these, this spread, I used this stencil with the squares and I just put it down, go through, and it looks really super neat and nice. You don't even have to do the lines. You could just do the squares. Uh, there's also this one that comes with it and it's circles. I don't use that one as much. I, I prefer the look of the squares. But, but these are really useful and they're super cheap. So I will link them down below as well. And of course you'll need other things as you go along. Um, there's, like I said, there's tons of accessories for your planner. There's deluxe covers, there's extra discs, all that stuff. But that's not what I wanted to focus on today. You will also need storage like this for pens and things, but I think I'll do a separate video on storage. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and that you got some use out of it. If so, please click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can check me out on Instagram at Planning with Bumble to see more of my spreads and other ideas. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.